I wanted to do a relatively easy and chatty video today and the videos that I really like watching of those are like get ready with me's. However, I don't wear makeup and I don't have to go out for anything today so I'm not doing anything other than like putting on clothes. Instead, I thought I would have a bit of a chat with you while I get my bassoon out for the first time in three years because I am a terrible, terrible person. <laughs> I started playing when I was in year 10. So I would have been 14. And I started playing because my friend Becca at the time um, was the only person who played the bassoon in the whole school. And she convinced me to start playing because it's an endangered instrument. And because of this, the county council were completely subsidising the lessons so that people would play it. And she really liked playing it and she convinced me that I should play it as well. And so I started playing the bassoon. I had lessons for about three years and then I stopped because I switched schools. I stopped doing A-levels and I went to a different school to do a B-tech. Well, that still works at least. I had lessons for about three years and then I played in an orchestra for maybe a year after that. I kind of stopped playing in the orchestra because it was a public orchestra and I was the youngest person there by about 10 years and I just felt kind of odd. God, I haven't looked at any of this in such a long time. Let's start at the bottom. This is called the butt or the boot. Um, it's the very bottom of the instrument and it is the bit that other pieces fit into. So this bit is the wing or the tenor joint and um, it's got a hole at the top for the crook um, and it goes on the right hand side. This one is the long or the bass joint and goes on the left hand side. It's longer than the other one, hence the name. I'm just putting cork grease on the ends just so that they all fit together a bit nicer. Let's soak a reed. Let's go with this one. I really have not done this in a very, very long time. So I don't really remember what I'm doing. I really do not remember <laughs> how to play this. This is the crook, it's where the reed goes. Again, cork grease, just to make sure that it goes in. Bassoons are really heavy, so because of this, you often get things like this, because this is now resting on my neck and my back, rather than just on my arms. I haven't played in years. I've forgotten basically everything. Let's see if I can play a scale, because I think that's the easiest thing I can do at the minute. probably going to take it to a music shop and see if it needs any work doing to it because some of the pads look a little bit worse for wear. This is a bassoon and I will see you tomorrow.